Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up everybody, this is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today we have my guy, Mr. Jamari Norris. He's currently in Mississippi, an uh, entrepreneur, uh, been in business, uh, doing some great things. And so I'm so thankful to have him on this episode of the Success Chronicles. So thank you so much. Man, absolutely, man. Chip, it's just a uh, thank for reaching out. And it's a pleasure to be here, man. Just glad to be on this podcast and be able to, uh, to share some light uh, on your audience. Well, let's go. Well, talk to us about... Um, you know, where you're from and, you know, how you were raised. And I know off air we talked about some of that stuff, but if you don't mind sharing with the audience uh, your story. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, uh, born and raised in Lansing, Michigan. And, uh, you know, raised by a huge family. I'm my mother's only child, but I had a huge extended family. Uh, you know, my, my great, uh, my grandmother, excuse me, my great grandmother had, uh, 13 children my grandmother had nine children so wow uh, even though i was the only child man i had no shortage of cousins and uh you know uh just extended family that i was always around um you know grew up in in public subsidized housing you know that that government cheese you know the with the box of cereal that just said cereal on it, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. The, the government cheese sandwich, so yeah, I'm pretty sure you know about that. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, That's the good know. stuff. <laughs> oh, absolutely. They don't make it like that no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, man. So after, you know, just um, throughout my grade school career, you know, uh, got around some good mentors and teachers. Uh, one mainly uh, Miss Sonia Marcellus, and she, you know, uh, really kind of cultivated a group of us young men and introduced us to HBCU. And uh, we ended up going down to uh, Mississippi and Louisiana to attend a, a black college tour. And I uh, saw Jackson State, fell in love with it. Uh, so I attended there, uh, graduated with a degree in uh, business management and uh, on to the corporate races, uh, I went. Uh, one of the misconceptions that I had was that, you know, just because you had a degree, I thought somebody owed me you know, a six thousand dollar salary. I was sadly mistaken that that's not how it goes. <laughs> yeah. So I had yeah. to, I had to put in some work, and uh, you know, been in corporate America for over fifteen years uh, in sales mainly, and uh, but I've always had a passion for entrepreneurship, and, uh, and uh, a passion for financial literacy, because uh, as I would get, you know, growing up poor, you know, I, I never knew that I was poor. But uh, as I got older and when I came down to Mississippi and I started, you know, living on my own, I realized that there was a gap in the way that things are done financially, yeah. um, especially when it comes to economic empowerment. And once I realized that the gap between the uh, quote unquote have and have not was that financial literacy. So from there on, it's really just been my passion to uh, read anything on self-development, personal finance building wealth and uh, now I've turned that into a platform of my own where I speak uh, as a financial empowerment coach and uh, I'm actually finishing up my curriculum that I'm going to be um, uh, distributing to the to the local high school and college system here in Mississippi. That's awesome man and I agree that is the gap you know a lot of times you, you have love you know, it's like you explain, you know, with your family, there's love, but the, the thing that will help the family be better and uh, generationally, you know, be better is the financial literacy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yep. Well, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? Man, the, the three things, uh, the first one is, is being married for 11 years. Mm -hmm. uh, now that may not seem like a lot to most folks, but in uh, in my current generation, oh, that's that's big. 
<laughs> yeah, so you know, uh, you know that just doesn't happen. You know, yes. uh, people are in and out for any reason. So you know, to sustain uh, my marriage to my wife, you know, for less than years, been been together thirteen, uh, is is just an awesome feat for me. So I'm just looking forward to, to many more years to come. Uh, also, uh, the second thing would be my my baby girl, uh, Colin, is three, and just you know. Uh, a buddy of mine told me that, uh, you know, before she was born, hmm. he said, man, he said, no one will love you like your daughter will. He was like, not even your wife. And I didn't understand that. Yeah. And, uh, but now that I have her, it's like, oh, yeah, he, he was absolutely right. Was, <laughs> the, the love is definitely unmatched in any form of that. So that, that is definitely a joy of mine. And the third one is just really uh, fulfilling my my dream of becoming a full-time entrepreneur and, uh, and, and, and not just being a full-time entrepreneur, but being a full-time entrepreneur in my passion. Because mm. it's one thing to do what you, you know, you have to do, but it's another thing entirely to do what you want to do and be able to support your family doing. Hey, one word on that. Boom. (laughs) (laughs) That's it, man. So let's hit success. What is your definition of success? Man, the definition of success to me is owning your time. Mm. I think, uh, yeah, most people, you know, might say, you know, money or, you know, uh, which money is the tool, but that's all it is. Time is your most valuable asset. Uh, and with time, you can make more money. So when you own your time and you can do what you want to do, uh, that to me is just on a whole nother level. Because now, you know, uh, I can spend that time dropping my daughter off. You know, I can take the time and go to the movies with my wife in the middle of the day. Or I can take a vacation every other month, you know, if, if I want to. That right there is invaluable because, you know, when it comes to, I remember, we, we surprised our, our boys and, and uh, took them to a cruise. It was the first time they had been out of the country, took us to a cruise to Mexico. And they talk about that like every year. They was like, that was the funnest time ever. So it wasn't the Jordans that they got for Christmas. It wasn't the PlayStation, because all of that stuff fade. But when you have the time that you spend with your family, man, that stuff is so much more valuable than anything that you can buy. Uh, with a dollar so when you have your time that's what defines success to me owning your time completely man i love that truly love that well i'm gonna say um a couple words here and if you don't mind just telling me what comes to mind uh, when, I, when i say these words all right the first is uh education i would have to say has failed us. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, uh, and I'm being, being honest. <laughs> okay. No, that's good. Entrepreneurship. Necessity. Mm. All right. One last word. Legacy. Generational wealth. There it is. Well, if you don't mind sharing with the audience where they can go follow you and check you out and show you some love with, with all of the amazing things you have going on. Absolutely. Uh, you can you can check me out at my website, uh, jamarinorris.com. That's J-A-M-A-U-R-Y, uh, Norris, like Chuck Norris, N-O-R-R-I-S.com. Uh, you can also follow me at Jamari Norris on all your social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. I'm all there. So definitely uh, hit me up. Well, there it is, man. Again, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to to interview with the Success Chronicles, man. I wish you continued success in everything you have going on. Absolutely, Chip. Appreciate it, man. All right. Well, thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.